could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? We're still in our pajamas this morning, as you can see. Um, Edith looks very stunning in her little coral number. I do not look quite as good. Um, but we're just getting ready. I think it's nearly I think it's nearly eight o'clock. Do you know what time it is? I'm not I'm not quite sure. But Edith's just had some breakfast. I'm gonna go and get a dress now. And today we're going shopping with my mum. And I thought this would be quite a nice day to vlog. Um because I'm going to be getting a whole new wardrobe for Miss Edith because she is grown out of all of her trousers because her legs are so long. So we're getting into six to nine month sizes now, although a lot of the sizes from six months seem like six to nine and nine to 12 seem not that, not that different really. Um, but what's quite fun with dressing a baby I found is that because they grow out of sizes so quickly, you kind of have to do a capsule wardrobe so a lot of her newborn stuff randomly was from next and then a lot of her three to six month stuff has been from Marks and Spencer's because I guess that's just where I went shopping at the time but now we have discovered baby Zara and I would like to take her there and basically buy the whole shop and you have to be seasonal appropriate as well like everything's gonna have to be winter clothes for her so I'm gonna take her upstairs now I can show you kind of what she's got and we'll make some plans. What I've found is that I really like trousers and dungarees because dresses, as adorable and cute as they are, they're just so annoying. Like whenever I'm picking her up, they just ride right up her back. It means she's got to have a pair of tights or something underneath, which I just don't think seem that comfortable for her. And she's getting to the point now where she's nearly, nearly crawling. She's at least spending a lot of time on her front. And I think in a dress, that's just gonna not be comfortable for her. Really until she's walking. I, it's probably not, not worth getting dresses, but there's so many cute like pinafores, like real autumnal outfits out there at the moment, like a little dungaree dress with cardigans. I basically want to dress her like Princess Charlotte. I thought I would dress her more traditionally than I ended. I have ended up dressing her, but it's like I, it's like it's her telling me what she wants to wear, which is not the case. It's just me <laughs> deciding what she likes. Oh, no. Aww. Is that a little little sleepy noise? I'm hoping she's going to sleep in the car on the way to Nanny and Grandad's. But, um, well, I don't know, because I've obviously got to get dressed at some point. So what we're going to do in the next hour, I'm not sure, but <laughs> Miss Edith needs to get dressed first, don't you? <laughs> okay. Okay, do you want to sit up? Yeah. Okay. 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 So you can see how ridiculous baby clothing is just from this one outfit because this top is so loose on her and this is three to six months and these trousers maybe you can't see where she's sitting but they're very very tight and do often kind of ride up and they are three to six as well and she's grown out of all of her dungarees like even stuff that's from the same shop like all the trouser and dungaree type stuff she's grown out of and the tops are like billowing off her um especially the sleeves she's like a wizard or something so i'll have to see what we get today i know we need trousers but obviously they need to go with something and she is going to grow over the next few months so this is her little chest of drawers this is what we've got um, lots of stuff is in the wash and she's also grown out of lots of things. So we've got her short sleeve tops are here, long sleeved here, which is like so much. These are some old t-shirts and that's, sleep, that's her pyjamas, that's like sleep suits and stuff. But these long tops, as I've said, are so big on her. And I find that when you buy a packet of something, you'll buy a packet of five tops. And so often there'll be a repeated design. So maybe there'll only be like three or four designs. So there's like the, this set, which is obviously the same and then this one is the same as the top she's got on now and I've ended up with so many cream things with patterns on <laughs> like cream spotted things that seems to be like the only t-shirts I have for her um I don't know how I've managed that but it means that I need plain trousers to go with them and so many like baby clothes are patterned like even in the trousers this is her other little drawer um and those are all her rompers which are in the wash and trousers and then this is all the stuff for later so this is some things I already have in six to nine um which is actually a little pinafore even though I just said I don't want any pinafore dresses for her this is something my mum bought her a few months ago and we were like it's so nice so 
is this little blue like corduroy number with that was the top to go with it on the left there's a dress that um, her grandma has bought her i can't remember who bought her this elephant one um but here is a preview of some of the stuff we've already got from baby zara so we've got this lovely this is a top this is a long sleeve top and this one is a short sleeve top so 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 pretty and we've got these to go under some dungarees that we'd already bought her these have been stuffed under the changing table because there's just no there was no space in the chest of drawers um so we've got these lovely black pair of dungarees which will look nice over that t-shirt this is this was my plan oh how smart is she going to look in that and then this pair of dungarees as well which is sort of got blue flowers on it blue and green um, and yellow pattern so I need some plain tops to go under this and thinking about it this is not extremely autumnal but I really like it um, so she's got two pairs of dungarees there they're both I think then actually they might be 9 to 12 I bought, bought these in okay these are already 9 to 12 so that's handy um, so she'll probably still fit in those all through uh, the winter and I also have this pair of dungarees which I got as a present um, from my friend Cara and these are also gorgeous also from baby zara i nearly bought these myself and then she bought them as a present i was like yes and these are also 9 to 12 so considering we've got quite a tall girl here i think um 9 to 12 is going to be a good start she's not in these yet but i think they'll last her a good long while i've got another little little top to go with that uh romper there so this is all from Zara so far, but it's so lovely. So now I need to be thinking really about the palette, I reckon, like especially if I get her some t-shirts, it needs to be going with these kind of colors or black, but black goes with everything, so that's fine. Um, I've ended up with very kind of pinky maroon shades for her three to six, which have been okay, but I haven't really loved. I've sort of regretted her three to six wardrobe. Like, I, she's beautiful, but um i want something a little bit better for the next six months so i'm thinking some blues some greens she looks really really well in pink i find um and quite bright colors so we'll see what they have and see what we can see what we can find it is just i will reiterate notoriously difficult trying to find plain baby clothes like everything you know like the top is patterned and then the bottoms are patterned and then the little cardigans are patterned and the jumpers and everything and you know you can't <laughs> you can't have that like some things need to be plain um so we'll see what we can see i am excited <sighs> oh, it's a big yawn come on then let's get you in your class We're also packing a load of purple food items because we've just started weaning, um, which is very exciting. I'm going to try and see if you can give us some banana while we're out. We'll see, we'll see how that goes. Where are we going? She had avocado the other day and potato yesterday. All, all great successes. Um, and she loves banana, so I think that'll just be like an easy thing to do today. And it's raining outside, but you know, just in case for driving. Uh, are you ready to go? Oh, you are heavy. Sing, you are heavy, aren't you? Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. yesterday went quickly and now look it's another day and i'm sitting in my pajamas again on the sofa while my baby plays on the floor um basically we got stuck in traffic on the way back from the shops because everybody's panic buying fuel and there were loads of queues at the petrol stations um along the road if you're not in the uk we're panic buying fuel because we're idiots and um there isn't a fuel shortage well there wasn't a fuel shortage but now there is because everyone panic bought because of the media so Anyway, it took us ages to get home, so by the time we got back, I had to just like bath her, put her to bed. And then I spent the evening um, editing my uh, most recent video for Patreon, which was a discussion on our previous book club read, 
Did that sentence make sense? I feel like I went really round the houses on that. Anyway, um, I'm just uploading it now. We read where the crawdads sing. So I'm just putting that onto Patreon. Um, and I also need to edit my Q&A video, but <laughs> I haven't done that yet. So that's, that's really long, it gets really long. So I don't know when I'm gonna get to edit that. I'm feeling quite rubbish today because my hair is just, I'm trying to grow my fringe out and it is just at such a horrible stage, I feel. Like, it's just so big, but too sh short. Does that make sense? Like, it, there's just a lot of short hair that's all just hanging down in front of my face. It's not, like, a little bit. It doesn't look like it's meant to be there. Anyway, oh, and I've got to go to, we're going to Baby Sensory today. A little class that she does, so that will be fun. But it also means I'll have to, like, get dressed and see people and... I'll see if I have time to wash my hair. I may, I may do, I may not. Depends how she is. Last night she slept really well, like for herself. She woke up at, she went to bed at seven, woke up at 10 and then at four, so it was brilliant. And then again at half seven. Um, so she just fed twice, which was good. But the 10 o'clock waking was horrific. She was just really crying. Would As soon as you held her up, she'd sleep, but the minute we put her down on the cot, she was crying. Will was trying to rock her, I was trying to rock her. Um, yeah, I don't really know what happened. So, I just put her in the bed and just cuddled her and she went to sleep. So, it was a bit of an annoying night for me. I didn't sleep that well, but she slept really well. So, I don't know what that was. Could have been anything. She's just had a cold. Could have been a bit of cold annoying her. Could have been some teething. Couldn't it? Who knows, eh? Um could have been some wind like it's just always a mystery that you're trying to like be a detective for for babies so I don't know but she's very jolly today aren't you are you jolly down there having a nice play mm. the good news is though we got a really good haul of clothes yesterday I was so pleased went to Zara I got something from Primark something from H&M and um, a shop called Newbie um which I'd not heard of before but that was really nice in there so yeah i will show you everything we got for her and um, when i go upstairs to get her dressed so yeah that was good i think she's got a nice <laughs> a nice day ahead of her going to baby sensory we basically just need to wear her out like during the day that's um, that's a new thing and she really likes going shopping because she can there's so much to look at like she loves being in pushchair and seeing loads of things um so yeah she had an absolutely fab time yesterday and uh, yeah hopefully she'll enjoy the day and then tomorrow i don't know i probably won't be able to vlog this unfortunately but we're going to take her <laughs> swimming for the first time i'm just going to take her to the pool and see how she likes it uh and then if once she's kind of used to it i'm going to book a book a set of lessons but i thought i'd just like sort it out and go with my mum as well because i don't know how i'm going to be able to get myself ready and a baby ready and Oh, I don't know, I just wanted to like see the pool, see the changing rooms. I've not gone swimming myself for like a million years. So yeah, we're gonna do it, do it together. Um, and then hope that she likes it. She loves the bath um, and she's very energetic. So swimming should be good, I hope. Oh. Get I haven't stuck that down, I just plonked it there. What? That is not like stuck down, just FYI. Oh, okay. I just popped, I just put it there. Oh my gosh, I wonder if it's not. Well, I don't know how, oh, there we go. Oh, maybe sorry. if you lick it, maybe it's. Maybe you can lick it? Yeah, like uh, like those. Uh, like an envelope? Well, no, like the, like the suction things. Well, I'll see, yeah, maybe put a bit of water on it. I didn't look at the instructions. No, the already. instructions are here. Oh, okay, thank you. Don't be silly. So we've had some good news and bad news. Good news is Miss Edith went for a nap in her cot this morning, which was excellent. So I could have a shower and wash my hair, which was really good news. I always feel like if that nap happens at the right time and it happens in the cot and not having to walk around in the pram the whole rest of the day it just falls in line then because you've had some time just to just to get prepared so we are going to have some breakfast apple now i'm stewing some apple we've got some small bits that i can mush up and some big bits that she can eat uh whilst try and hold and we're going to try a new thing that we bought yesterday which is this little uh 
well. I guess it's a plate which is supposed to stick to the high chair. This is like um, a stocky high chair and this is the thing that goes with it. So it should stick to this tray and then you can put food in there and she can't like throw it on the floor. But I'm not sure I'm sticking that well. Whether I should put some water in it or not, I'll, um, I'll have a look. Oh, and the bad news, sorry, is baby sensory has just been canceled. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do this afternoon now. She's so happy in this chair. I think you love it, don't you? Because she can sort of be almost at the height of everybody else and just like watch what's going on. Um, and she really enjoys eating this nice thing. We just got this from, my parents got this from Ikea. I had some nicer ones, like the one she was using uh, yesterday, which is like terry cloth. Um, but all the food just goes into it and then you have to wash them. And this one is nice and you could just wash it up in the washing up bowl. So that's what we're gonna try. Yeah. Ready for a post meal walk. Also, just realised I've not had any breakfast yet, and it's half eleven. <laughs> You're just gonna have a little nap now in the pram, and I'm gonna go to the shops and get myself a coffee and some food. Might have come out without an umbrella and got a little bit stuck under the tree. I'm not too bad. I have a shield for ages, so not the worst mum in the world, but. Um, yeah, I just have this hoodie, so we're just going to wait it out for a little bit, see how long it rains for. The forecast was not for rain, I'm just going to say, this came from nowhere. building or just the outside of the building and then um, obviously it just stopped it was so I was like I need to leave I'm so wet now I'm so wet so and cold oh my goodness she's fine she's so cozy and lovely all right well obviously I'm just going to walk home now I'm going to go to the shop but I'm not going to go in the shop in this state of the shop just off really We've made it back in one piece. Missy here is completely dry and happy. I was a bit wet, but luckily I could take my hoodie off and just walked home in this. <laughs> and it's really sunny now, so I did dry off a little bit. But this is a, a key moment between waking and lunchtime where I'm gonna go and make her some peas. So I thought this would be a nice time to look at the look at the clothes we got. This is also this is a little chick my mum bought for her yesterday from H&M and she like absolutely loves him don't you? So we can start with this romper in fact that she's wearing right now which is from a shop called Newbie um, which has just got really lovely, really lovely things in it. It's a bit expensive so I only bought a few things but this is lovely, it's got a little cross at the back there and um, this is all in, I got everything in six to nine months so it will last her a little bit. She's got plenty of room, it's really nice and like soft and warm i think this will be really good for the autumn so this is what i decided to put her in today to, just to test it out and it will go with lots of things i reckon and then from that shop i got a couple of other things i got this beautiful yellow uh t-shirt which is just it's just nice quality stuff it's just like ribbed i don't know if you can see um but that will look really nice perhaps under this romper or under any of her other dungarees that she's got and then also this absolutely beautiful blouse it's sort of like li i guess linen effect i don't know if it is linen um but it's got a nice sort of big billowy sleeves kind of thing and this i thought particularly would be good for let's get your old other stuff out under her black <gasps> under your black dungarees look how smart that's gonna look pink and dark pink and black that's gonna look excellent so that's what we got there we also went into um, Primark and just got some little joggers out of there, which were great. These were £3 each. 
So she's got a little green pair with um, rabbits and squirrels and foxes on. Really sweet. And this little uh, pair here, which has little flowers on it. I quite liked some of the, I've never, I've not been in Primark for such a long time. Um, and there was a few things in it that were quite nice. I don't really like putting her in ultra, ultra girly things, like really, really pink things. And the baby stuff there was so lovely. And, but she's just too big for it now. Like I was looking at it all thinking, oh, this is already like pajama stuff. And she's getting to like outfit stage now. And the, the baby stuff was really nice. And then it sort of went to what I would call like little girl almost, like toddler stuff, like lots of dresses and things, which obviously I just think she's not quite ready for because she's not walking around. So I've got these for now, but I'll probably go back there when she's a bit bigger. Can you pull them along? <laughs> Everything's back to front from how we bought it. Also, my mum got her these Christmas socks. We're already in Marks and Spencers. I actually already, shall I get some out of the drawer? Last time I was in Newbie, when I first discovered Newbie as a shop, they were having a sale, and I already got these for her. Some little Christmassy, like, leggings. And I also got some trousers out of h and I'm actually so pleased with this haul because she really needed trousers. Um, and... I find it really hard to get trousers for baby girls because a lot of stuff is leggings. It's like really tight leggings. It's the kind of thing that I feel like you would wear under a long top or a dress. And all the baby boy stuff is so much like looser and I think more comfortable, especially for her to be like, you know, rolling around, crawling around. She's on her knees a lot. Um, and for like the thin leggings, I don't know. I just think she's a bit young for it. So I've got these little, I guess like cords. Um, and they just looked a bit softer and more comfortable than like jeans or leggings basically. So these are like little grey with pink hearts on and then I've got a little pink pair uh, as well. And then the main event was Zara of course. That's what, I was, that's what I was all about and we got a few things from Zara. The first thing I really like and I've seen these online beforehand. I haven't opened them out of the packet yet but these are some long sleeve bodysuits and I think they're in the pyjama section of Zara but I, you know, she's a baby, she's going to wear these as actual socks. And they've all got little fruit on them, little bits of fruit and little something in French. So this is Petite Myrtle there, that's a little myrtle one. This is a banana. We've got one that says J'aime les pommes. They're just so, like really sweet and really, um, kind of classy. I know you love bottom the box. The box is the best thing. Little one, little orange one. But yeah, they just seem really sort of elegant for baby clothes, really. Um, so these are the only tops, apart from, oh, actually the two tops I showed you just now, but I didn't get that many tops in six to nine because as you can see, this this, this is three to six and it's just like baggy as, as anything on her at the moment. So th these are for later on. And it's so hard not to just get everything you want. Bye bye box. Sorry. You've got your toys in front of you playing with the box, honestly. It's so easy to see a dress and think, oh, I'll get it for next spring or whatever. And you just gotta, I'm trying to like hold myself back a little bit and wait and buy things when it's actually the time for her to wear them. So this is, I've just got these five tops uh, and the two kind of blouses for, for next time. So that probably should be enough for now. Then we got another romper, which I haven't tried on her yet. I think it's a little bit smaller, but this is beautiful. A little mustard flowers. And I think we could wear some darker things underneath this, um, which would probably look quite nice. Like she could have some long sleeves underneath it like that. That would look, that would look good. Um, oh yeah, and also these tops, like mainly I got them because I think this would go underneath the dungas that I showed you yesterday. So these lovely uh, flowered ones. Oh, perfect, she can have a little blue one. Well, this little green one actually would go really nice. Oh, excellent, so that all, that all works together. So excited for this little wardrobe. Then we got, oh, well, just one more pair of trousers, just some dark blue uh, leggings, just to, just to add to everything, because I, I can get rid of the ones that she's grown out of now. And then some jumps, it's so easy. It's so easy to buy jumpers and cardigans. I feel like that's the easiest thing because they're so sweet and they're like a whole outfit basically. Um, so she, and she has quite a lot already. People have bought her cardigans for when she's bigger, haven't they? So you've got quite a lot, but I did buy some more. So this little jumper, I thought was absolutely adorable with the little spot. And I think we'll basically go with everything. And this, I'm really pleased with this. This dark gray, like charcoal gray cardigan here. Um, that will look nice, got little wooden buttons as well, like really sweet. So again, that will go with a lot of this. So I'm really pleased, I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to just 
getting everything out of that chest of drawers, all the stuff that doesn't fit her anymore, and just replacing it with um, with all this stuff. Yes. And you're gonna be a stylish baby, a stylish little baby, aren't you? You're gonna look good. Oh, careful, careful there. Oh, wow, look at you. Have you done a poo? <laughs> you actually have good job her in the changing room, isn't it? I feel like it gets to a certain point of day and then the day just absolutely runs away from me because she has a bath like between six and half six. Like once it gets to maybe like four or five, it's like, oh yeah, like that evening just needs to happen. You've got like bedtime routine. But she's in bed now, um, which is good. Went down really, really nicely. Means nothing, means absolutely nothing for how the rest of the night is gonna go, but at least it's good for this evening. So Will's just doing dinner, we're gonna have a pie and then we're gonna watch Bake Off. Um, and I don't know if I have time to do some editing. That's what I'm pointing to off screen and pointing to my laptop. Um, I might do some editing or I might just, this is the trouble. The time that we get to ourselves is when she's in bed, but then I'm just tired, <laughs> I'm tired now. I don't know if I wanna do some editing, but um, we'll relax at least and have a nice evening. I think I'm going to finish the vlog here because I feel like I filmed like so much actually today. This is a lot longer than I thought it would be. Um, so wish us luck for swimming tomorrow. I'm, I'm excited. I'm intrigued. I don't know how it's going to go, but it will happen. <laughs> um, and I'll see you all in my next video.